Hi, I'm Robin with Robin33. I'm here to share some tricks and tips with you on how to get started doing lives on Facebook or YouTube. Here are just a few of the items that I use that you might find interesting, um, inexpensive, and helpful for your business. Um, I recently moved my studio from downstairs to upstairs. I felt I needed better lighting, I felt I needed better sound, and I needed to be closer to my Wi-Fi. So, in setting up my new workspace, I decided I needed to make some changes as far as my sound system went, as far as my backdrop went. So I'm going to go few, go through a few of the items that I purchased that were inexpensive um, and they made a huge impact. In the beginning, I always relied on my cell phone. And in order to eliminate the squelching, I used to have to plug this into my iPhone, which has a little microphone on it. It was not enough. Not only that, I found when my uh, phone ran out of juice, I didn't have a way to plug it in and eliminate the noise. So, what I went ahead and did was, and I will have links in the com in the uh, description to all these items. I am not making any money off of these items, but I went ahead and I purchased this from Walmart. Now, what I liked about this was it had a place for my iPhone. It came with a microphone. Now, this microphone is kind of flimsy when I have it all the way up. The ring light provides some great um, coverage as far as lighting goes. Um, what I loved about this was if my phone is running out of juice, I can plug my phone into an electrical outlet and I don't need these anymore because I'm now using the microphone that came with it. This was $39.95, okay? Another thing that I felt I needed, I, I'm in watching a lot of videos, my videos included, I felt I needed a great backdrop. So, this is what I came up with. My husband helped me this weekend, and we went ahead and we put a curtain rod and attached it to the ceiling. Now, what I'm using as my backdrop, because see how, doesn't that look like more professional now than all that busyness going in the background? Because I know when I watch certain people's videos, I'm constantly looking at what is in back of them and not what they're doing. It's really important when you're doing a live to be prepared, look professional. It just, it just makes for a better relationship with the people that are watching you. They feel like you've taken the time to go the extra step and make it look good. So this is something that I decided to do. Um, this was a curtain rod that I purchased from Walmart. It went up to 84 inches. I felt I just needed something to basically span my table, which is six feet. I, I have a window back there and that provides a lot of light coming through which plays with the camera and it doesn't it doesn't show well now usually with these curtain rods they hang like this off the wall okay we actually put them like this up okay on the ceiling now if you can see here there's a screw can you see it what we did was the curtain rod itself, we put some little, we drilled a little hole in it. So when we hung this from the ceiling, this screw that's in the back here went down into the rod itself and held it in place and it didn't pop out and fall over. Um, because again, when you're hanging them, you're hanging them like this against the wall. They're not meant to hang from the ceiling. But see, this is my sewing room slash laundry room. So I needed something that I could push the curtains back over so when I'm in the room, it's not interfering. Um, 
I noticed there's a lot of videos out there of people doing their lives. It's really dark in the back. Look at how bright this makes it look. And then I went ahead, these are going to be in my Etsy store. I went ahead and I made a flag. This is a garden flag. And I put everything on here. If you can't do this, have a sign. Get a picture frame and put a sign and put the little links or the little icons here of where they can find you. That's really important and it really looks professional. Because see, look, Facebook, Etsy, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. We're not supposed to say these words on Facebook, but look, they're here. I also have the subscribe button here with the bell so they know that if they hit the bell, they'll get notified. All right. One of the other things with lighting that I did, I had my husband and I saved the corner of the box. I had my husband put up this LED light. Okay. And again, I'll have the, uh, the link to it. It's from Lowe's. It's long. It's about 48 inches long. It's up on the ceiling above my table. I had a just a regular middle of the room ceiling fixture. So we took that down. This was $44, like $44 at Lowe's. It's an LED. It's called a wraparound lamp. This light bulb will last for five years. They don't they don't come with replaceable bulbs. You just toss it after that. Um, but the light has been amazing. Look how well lit my table is. And I'm right under it. So it just lights up everything here for me. All right. Um, if you were interested in not purchasing the, um, the tripod with the ring light and the place for your phone and a microphone, consider, i um, trying to think of the name, it's called a Blue Jetty. It's a great microphone. But again, if you're just starting out, you don't have a lot of money to put out towards lighting and everything else. Now, best rule of thumb is to have your camera about 36 inches away from you up above your table. Now, I have Amiibo. Amiibo is great. Um, I got mine on Amazon. What I like about Amiibo is when I show you a sign that I've made like this, you can read it. The words are not backwards. If someone has a regular, um, I think there's OBS has a, Logitech has a camera, it reads backwards. So I like that I'm right off the bat showing the words in the, in the way you should be reading them. Now, for my area where my, my Amiibo is, I will take a picture and I will post it in the, in the, um, in the video itself. All right. But I wanted to show you what I did. All right. This, cause I couldn't show you a picture of it because I'm using it to film, but I can take a picture and show you when I used to do trade shows, um, long time ago, I had a, um, another company that I worked for and I use these a lot. These are craftsman clamps. Any person that does woodworking makes things like that. They're going to have these. What I liked about these, and this is what I used to do with it. I used to clamp them to my table at shows. All right. Just like that. All right. Then I would take, and I think this is three quarter inch PVC pipe. And I used to put that over it, a really big piece, really long, I should say. And then I had my banner strung across just using these because for takedown purposes, it was easy. I just removed the PVC pipe, took this off my table and boom, packed it and away I went. I did the same thing with my Mevo camera. I actually have it mounted on the step stool or on the bar stool. All right. I have it clamped to the bar stool. 
And then I have this on top of it, a long piece because I this sits actually on the floor, all right? So I have this long piece and right here I have my Mevo sitting. And then I have Velcro here and Velcro here. Velcroing it to the top of this, what is called a T. Because see, it, it's in the shape of a T. I, I love PVC pipe. I've used it for a lot of things. So anyhow, that's how I have my camera set up. Because I'm further away from the washer, I'm, I needed it up off the floor and looking down at me and I needed it about three feet span away and what I did was I have my my computer right under it and what's nice about this is my Mevo plugs into my computer the ring light plugs into my computer the microphone plugs into the computer everything is plugging into the computer now if you don't have all those outlets to plug all that into your computer you can buy those little adapters um i forget the name of them but you can buy where if you only have one plug over here that's okay buy one that has enough to plug in all your external devices well worth it okay um, this is what I have. I have this little thing here and it takes your SD card from your Mevo and you just plug it in here and then you can edit your film, you know, in the computer. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need to, to go over. Oh, these here, because you don't want anything with a lot of weight on this curtain rod, these are actually um, bathroom um, shower curtains, fabric shower curtains. I had them downstairs when I had my classes to kind of section off areas, and these work great. The um, shower curtain rings, they came from Dollar Tree. So they were like, nine, they were a dollar a pack. Um, I actually have two curtains here. And usually the, you can find them at Dollar General, really inexpensive. Um, so that's there. My table is a six foot folding table and it sits on top of a, a wire shelving unit from Target. It's three shelves or two shelves. I've got quite a bit stored under there in baskets so when i need zip ties or something i just pull the basket out and boom it's there so i've got room on this shelf for six baskets pretty nice size baskets what i liked about this was um my husband found um four wheels at lowe's and put them on the bottom of this shelf so now when I'm done with my live, I can just swing my table over against my ribbon rack and store it away and still have the space I need in my room. So if you're, what I'm trying to get across is if you have a room that you, like your laundry room, your sewing room, all this stuff, and you need a space, you know, you need the space during the day, Everything will just slide away and make room. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me or to send me a message. I really hope that I've given you a few inexpensive tips here on how to get started, things you're going to need. Your main priority is going to be your camera. And then I would definitely look into some of the items I showed um, just to make it easier on yourself and make yourself look professional. I, I do aprons with people's logos on it. That looks professional. This looks professional. This looks professional. Take the extra time to be prepared and have everything set out 
So you're not running here, running there. It makes a big difference. The first five minutes you're on makes the difference. If you're slow in getting started and you're slow sharing away, they're gonna go on to somebody else because their time is valuable. So take the extra time to prepare, be ready, ready to go as soon as you hit that live button. It really makes a difference. I hope some of my tips and tricks have, um, you know, you've found something in here that's valuable. I hope to do another one soon with some of the equipment that I use. Um, if you have any questions, just leave a message in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. And again, I will try and list every single thing I showed you in the description so you have an idea of where to go to look for these things. Simple, inexpensive things to get started. Thank you for joining me and I've been doing lives for quite a while now, but decided to take it to the next level and make myself look more professional. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you subscribe to my channel and watch for upcoming videos. Thank you.